Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is straight out of Boston, here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode five of this Philadelphia 76ers dynasty on NBA Live 14. And today we're ready to advance into the second offseason of the series. Let's give a quick recap of the playoffs. We did get out in the first round to the Toronto Raptors, and the Charlotte Bobcats were your NBA champions. Yes, that happened. Um, let's take one last look at the player statistics. For the end of the year, we checked them out the All-Star game, but we did not check them out the final. I imagine they're going to be similar, um, and for the most part, they are. Dang, 20 points. Turner, right around 16. Carter, 14 and 7, 14 and 8. Carter stayed around 9, 7, 9, and 2 and a half. Yeah, nothing really much changed. Noel, his rebounds went down, actually, even though we gave him more minutes. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, yeah, his stats went down, whereas... I don't know how that happened. Whatever. Uh, Malik Bradford did okay. And Trevor Ariza was okay in his short time with us. He's probably better than Jason Richardson was. But nonetheless, uh, so let no, do not exit the dynasty. Let's advance to the offseason. And maybe it'll give us, uh, yeah, this little screen. I want to find out who's on this roster. They went 38 and 44. Are you kidding me? With Thad Young, Paul Pierce. Oh my goodness, Boba. Wow, this is ridiculous. They went 38 and 44. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I can't handle NBA Live anymore. All right, player evolution. So Turner goes up one, Curtis goes up two. Still no progression out of Carter Williams. I don't know what I got to do with this kid. But Curtis goes up two, that's good. Turner's still progressing. I really like to see that. Moultrie and Allen both went up one again. Noel stayed put. Bradford went up one. Hamilton went up one. All right, so not too bad. I really wish Carter Williams would progress, but I don't know. Uh, so let's, I guess we have to dismiss this. And then hopefully we can, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's fine having Carter Williams as the future point guard if he's just going to stay put at the 77, but anyway. All right, draft lottery. So we're not going to be in the lottery. We don't have any lottery picks. So let's just skip through this. See if everything stays put like it always does. Lakers, Miami, Clippers, Indy, Utah. Yep, everything stayed put. Oh, except the Mavs and Celtics flipped. And then the Hawks moved up a lot, actually. Did the, I guess the Mavs and Celtics didn't flip. I guess the Celtics just moved down one because the Hawks jumped like three teams. But Pelicans get the number one overall pick for the second time in four years now? Or three? Yeah, four years. Rookie scouting. Um... All right, so who should we scout? So we have a good surplus of big men. I'm looking for another wing right now, especially a shooting guard. So let's look at some shooting guards here. Um, now we're not really going to have like a top 15 pick, but we could. We do have a late first round pick. Well, it looks like there are not too many. We could also look at small forward, um, but we do have a couple small forwards. I don't know. Let's do both of these guys. We don't know a lot of these people's potential. Oh, this guy's an A potential. But he's a... S oh, second overall. I thought that's at second uh, round. <laughs> yeah, we know some of the pencils on some of these guys. Doubt we're going to find anyone too good in the late rounds. Um, maybe let's look at this late guy. Clarence Holmes. This guy's 6'11". Uh, and then let's possibly look at point guard. At least we get a good backup, possibly in the second round. Like, maybe this guy, Jason Reed, went to Kentucky. And I suppose we can go back to the small four. Well, we have a couple small four. Let's get another. Let's look at a second round pick for a shooting guard. Tomas Fair. Let's get Robert Jackson. B potential, Andy 6'8". Ah. All right, scout these fellas. And we'll advance. Resign players. All right, I do not want to re-sign Trevor Ariza. Evan Turner, I do want to re-sign, but he doesn't have much interest in coming back. That's not good. Uh, so let's try to re-sign him. He wants two years, $20 million. I will gladfully give him that. Uh, Hold up. I want to look at my cap situation if I can. And I can't. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like future cap room. We have a lot of cap room then, I guess. I don't know. I guess we can afford to give Turner a contract. Let's re-sign him. If need be, we can trade somebody because I want Evan Turner back. I would like him for... I would go four years on him. He wants two years, though. So we'll go three, and we'll up it to all the way up to 11 mil because he's been really good for us. All 
All right, he agrees to us. Sweet. So we get Evan Turner back. And I think I want Arnett Moultrie back, but I don't know for how much. Uh, No, 8 million a year? Whoa, no, no, no. Hell no. We only have 15 mil left in cap room. So I, I'm i actually going to let both these players walk. I mean, yeah, we have enough good big men. I don't need Moultrie back. I don't need Tony Roden. So we will advance... And then target somebody big in free agency. Since uh, we're going to have close to max cap space, I might have to shed some extra cap space. But nonetheless, let's uh, skip to our pick. 17. So still some good talent left. Some top 10, top 15 talent. Uh, we don't know a lot of these guys' overalls or potentials. This guy is a 70 overall already. He's Clarence Holmes. He's not bad. I know we have Malik Bradford. Looks like we don't know a lot of these guys' as potential. Um, part of me wants to take a flyer on a guy up here. This guy is only 18. Sean O'Neill. I thought that's just Shaquille. Um, part of me, yeah, part of me wants to take a flyer on like a James White. And, but I don't know. I wish I had scouted. I didn't realize where my pick was. I thought it was a little bit lower. Latrell Fletcher. This guy's 7'3". We don't need another big man though. Ugh. Okay, Latrell Fletcher is already a 64, so we're not going to go after him. Clarence Holmes has a B potential. I think we should just play it safe and go Clarence Holmes, even though part of me really wants to draft James White. This really, I keep thinking this is Shaq. Yeah, we're going to go with Clarence Holmes. Another small forward, I know. Second round. Do we know anyone's overall at this point? I suppose we could sort by it. Couple 62s, Jason Reed, Robert Jackson, Ronnie Brewer. They say this has a high ceiling. That's interesting. DJ and Benga. Not seeing much potential beyond that. Mm. This guy's B potential. Seven foot one power forward. Could be a could be a Arnett Moultrie replacement. Yeah, let's take him. Andre Knox. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. All right, so that is the draft, and let's move forward into free agency. Like I said, we're going to go after a max type player. So first off, we got to see how much cap space we have. Looks like a lot of the top guys ended up getting signed, sadly. That's not good. Um, I don't know how, considering a lot of those teams are way over the cap, but... Mm. Um, so the other option is we, we try to trade for like an Al Horford or something. I've brought him up many times in the past, but <laughs> you guys know I do like me some Al Horford. All right, well, there aren't really any huge guys. I don't want to spend, like, a ton of money on a Marcus Thornton, you know? So, uh, Minnesota talking to Tim Duncan. Oh, his, his overall must be really low at this point. Wait, no, don't skip. No, don't skip. Um, view free agents. Where's Tim Duncan? Oh, he's a 78. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Brooklyn has a log jam at center. Well, I'm going to have to... No, I do not want to skip free agency. I just want to make a trade. Um, okay, so I'm going to look at potential trade options because I really want to get a big name in here to pair him with Turner and Luol Dang. So, uh, I will be back. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, okay. Um, I wasn't actually. I thought they might accept that, but I wasn't 100 percent sure. Uh, so we trade for Rajon Rondo. We actually threw Carter Williams in the trade. Um, what this does is it gives us three really good players right here: Rajon Rondo, Luol Deng, and Evan Turner. Now we need to surround them with a caliber center because we traded Lamar Curtis and Carter Williams in that. You could say we overpaid for Rondo, but I didn't see either of those players becoming great great players um especially not in the short term and we're trying to make this a, a, a semi-quick rebuild so we have rondo luol dang and evan turner we have lavoy allen who can play a capable power forward we have a ton of roster space here so we're going to attack some free agents even though we don't have a ton of cap space but it was balls i wasn't 100 sure they were going to take that but they did so let's look at centers i just want like a solid type center festus azili maybe for 5 million for one year. 
The beat's a 77 overall, Jesus. I wonder if we could lowball Andrew Bogut because he... I don't know if we have a ton of cap room. Maybe we do have cap room. I guess we have exactly this much cap room. Um, I would... I think I would throw all this money at Bogut. Let me back out for a sec. Um, yeah, looking at the best players, maybe DeAndre Jordan because he's a lower overall, which means he won't regress as quickly. So maybe we'll throw money at DeAndre Jordan first. Yeah, I forget. You can go like six years in this game. So stupid. Um, we'll go four years, so I don't want to give too much money to a center. I doubt he's going to take this. Yeah, he probably never want to hear from me again. All right, screw you, though. Uh, we'll try the same offer for Andrew Bogut, but I imagine he's not going to take. Yeah, okay. Um, we could potentially shut out cap room. Like, maybe we find a Lavoy allen trade for a cheaper power forward. No, do not back out. No, do not back out. Um, yeah, maybe we try to find a Lavoy allen trade. I mean, I would like... I would like to get a fourth really good player in here, because we don't have, like, a, a big-name franchise guy, but we have some good players. Um, so maybe we trade him for a cheaper and around the same overall type of power for maybe a little bit less. All right. So I didn't find a very good Lavoie Allen trade because a lot of the teams that I tried to trade him to, uh, just didn't have the cap space to trade me like a minimum salary player. Um, but I skipped the day in free agency and all these guys asking prices are way down. Not Trevor Reza. Please go back. <laughs> Um, but look at these asking prices. DeAndre Jordan, one year, five million. I will pay you that. Um, I will no, please don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. This must be like a glitch or something. Because this is just like the MSC or whatever. But I will gladly offer you a two-year contract worth that much. Alright, so we bring DeAndre Jordan in. I'm not a big fan of DeAndre Jordan in real life, but he's a high overall in this game. Um... So then we have Lavoy Allen, and we could use some bench players. We still have four million in cap, and a lot of these guys don't want any money now, which is weird. Um, like, look at this. Like, Dirk only wants three. Wow, that's. Uh... Can I sign Dirk, please? I will give him one year. I'll up. I'll up the dollars. I'll up the money. Oh no! Please offer this contract to Dirk. Yeah, lucrative offers. I don't think he was getting lucrative offers. That might be a little bit exaggerated. So now Allen becomes a good backup. And then can we get like a backup wing to say we can at least be seven deep? Uh, maybe like a Patrick Beverly. That'd be interesting. I'd like a veteran if he's going to come for cheaper. Although I think we still have the, the entire mid-level exception. If this game recognizes that. And these guys somehow, for some reason, want more money, which I don't really get. But... Maybe it's because their interest is lower or something. I have no idea. I have no idea what this is about, but uh, nonetheless. All right, let's look at potential wings. Mm, maybe ooh, Lance Stevenson. This player I almost traded for. I don't know if I'd give him four years, though. This is the thing, but I will give him the MLE. This is the minimum salary, right? Yeah, I will give him my mid-level exception for like two years, maybe. Yeah. Alright, nice. And then we have... Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we're offering a lot of these guys to your contracts. Because we do have the Luol Deng contract coming up the books next um, next year. But we'll see. Um, and then let's look at a point guard. I'd like to get a backup point guard for probably like the veterans minimum. So let's go down. See if we can find someone with a reasonably high overall. Like maybe a Chauncey Billups or possibly an Earl Watson. Let's see if Chauncey will come for the MSC, though. Just for one year. Oh, come on. Let's go back to point guard. Because we really don't have a backup point guard right now. I tried to trade for one, but there's Jason Reed, the guy we almost drafted. Um, so I imagine we can only send one of these two guys. Would love Justin Holiday. <laughs> Um, let's, yeah, let's go for, I suppose just go for Nick Kalathis if he's going to be the highest overall out of these guys. I don't want to give you a multi-year contract. Alright, cool. So we get Nick Kalathis, Kalathis, I don't know how to pronounce that name, as our backup point guard. 
And I'm going to just take a quick look at the team roster. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, we got 13 guys in the roster. These two guys are not that good, though, so I might want to try and sign one more player. Well, let me go back to the team roster, actually, and just evaluate what positional needs we might have. So we could use another big man. Looks like we have plenty of wings. Yeah, so we're going to need another big man, possibly. So let's look cheap. Um, and we're only going to have... We're only going to be able to sign players for the veterans minimum, so let's see who will come. Hamadi Nidhi. Wow, this is a six foot four center. Are you kidding me? Para Antic, he's the man. He drains those threes. Okay, looks like we're going to have to sign, like, maybe Willie Reed. Can we sign him for one year? I don't think we can afford this. Nope, we can. Okay, cool. So we're a little bit over the cap. But look at all that future cap space next year. We still have $15 million in cap, which is good because that's the Luol Deng contract coming off the books. So we can readjust our team if we have to next year. But that's a good team for now. I'm going to skip the rest of free agency because we don't need anyone else. We have a really good team here. We go about seven deep with really good players. We can go like eight or nine deep with solid players. So I'm liking what we have here. I, really, I don't know if we're going to have a title team, but we're going to have an upper echelon team in the season, I do believe. Let's get ready to start up the season. Oh, excuse me, I had a little burp there. Tried to hold it in. Uh, training. So what players would we like to train? Well, Turner's going to be here long term, and he's still only 26. So I say we throw him in there. Garner, Holmes, Bradford. And maybe Lavoy Allen if we really want him to develop a little bit. I'll admit, I think in maybe DeAndre Jordan. I'm not too sure. Let's, let's throw DeAndre Jordan in there. Train these players. All right, and we will advance past that. Advance to the regular season. I am very excited for this upcoming season. Team direction. I think we are uh, We're going to want to win now. I'm not sure if we're going to win the NBA championship. But I think that that's our mode right now. We are in a win now mode. And let's go over to the player rotation and set this up. So I think we're going to have Luol. Yeah, we're going to have. Uh, not Luol Deng. We're going to have Dirk start. We're going to give our guys a lot of minutes. Because we do not run that deep. Um, and then Stevenson and Lavoie Allen are both going to get good minutes. Lower these guys to 10, and then maybe give these guys 5 each. Hmm, we can lower these minutes a little bit then. I think come playoff time, we might go a little bit deeper. Maybe, we'll limit Dirk's minutes because I don't want him to get too tired during the season. Give some extra minutes to Lavoie Allen. And then... Maybe we up Garner and Holmes minutes. Yeah, okay, that looks good. So we're a very uh, top-heavy team, I would say. Use this lineup for future games. And that's pretty much going to do it. So I'm going to thank you guys for watching. I am very excited to see how far this team will go. Got a good team on hand. That's pretty much going to do for me, though. So I thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And this was my